Ever told you I'm scared of heights? I am. started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get it over a gajillion virgilian likes let's get right to the news nintendo's full financial briefing the full report has been revealed to the public and a lot of interesting news the first i can go fly is high you know the tice is high it's in a book a reading rainbow clouds Nintendo has talked about cloud gaming and their global president, Shanturu Furukawa, Furuwaka, Furukawa, however you say it, he has said Nintendo is not going to get left behind when it comes to cloud gaming. First, he says the company acknowledges that cloud gaming is going to be big for the future of gaming and Nintendo will not get left behind behind no consoles left behind now nintendo is already doing cloud gaming that's right we're gonna keep the clouds all throughout this video nintendo's already doing cloud gaming bro in japan right now in japan you could stream assassin's creed odyssey and resident evil 7 on your nintendo bro too huge triple a games are only playable in japan right now and so nintendo's already doing the whole cloud streaming thing you got competition from google stadia amazon xbox is doing x cloud walmart is even getting into cloud streaming and so Nintendo acknowledges it and they said that they're not going to be left behind. I really think Nintendo, you know Nintendo and Microsoft is partnering. It would be a perfect partnership for Nintendo to get a um, partner with Microsoft somehow to get xCloud just so we could have cloud gaming as an option. The pitchforks are coming. Now, Furukawa, he did make it clear that although Nintendo, he pretty much confirmed Nintendo will be going to the cloud. That the Nintendo Switch will have cloud streaming. He said um, they still believe in dedicated hardware. This is his <coughs> exact um, um, quote. I don't think all games will move to the cloud right now, but the technology is steady advancing. In the future, I expect that technology, such as the cloud and streaming, will evolve further as a way to deliver games to consumers. We must keep up with such changes in their environment. Say so we must keep up. And there's another, oh, I'm going to read this. On the other hand, I believe that our core value, the unique entertainment experience that can only be achieved through the development of integrated hardware and software, will further increase in value, delivering unique entertainment that only Nintendo can create will continue to be our top priority and so even though he says cloud gaming is going to be big their top priority it's still physical hardware physical hardware which is dope i tell you man and i say this all the time so when sony and xbox drops and microsoft drops systems or sega whoever um, I never get them right at launch. Sometimes I wait to see what features, what games. But Nintendo consoles, I just get them at launch. <laughs> because I know it's going to be something unique and fun. And they never disappoint me at launch with the system yet. Bro, even the Wii. I thought the Wii was so innovative at launch. And so I'm definitely, definitely, definitely picking up um, um, a Nintendo, the next, whatever, the next Switch Pro, Switch Mini at launch, whatever. But Nintendo has said that they will be going to the clouds. We go into the clouds, hey, 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 hey. go into the cloud. But that's not the only thing he talked about in this video. I mean, in this um, investors briefing, 
he also talked about Nintendo Switch Online. Now, let me say this with the Nintendo Switch Online services. My experience so far, I, I like the NES games are cool. Perfect timing, bro. The NES games are cool. But for the most part, most of the service feels like it's a necessity as opposed to a benefit. I say this because um, games like Splatoon 2, nothing is really... And I, I, part of it is Nintendo kept us free on online for so long. We've been playing for free where <laughs> not that we have to pay for it. There's not too many added features um, that we can say, whoa, this is so much cooler than what we had before. It's the same thing that we had before, which for the most part, online has been pretty good. It has had some hiccups with Smash, but like games like Splatoon, Mario Kart 8 runs like a charm online. Now, um, the only real benefit are the um, NES games for me. Uh, I like the NES games. Speaking of that, Exact Bike Versus, Clue Clue Land, Donkey Kong um, Jr. will be made. Uh, Nintendo officially sent out a video. This is the official trailer. This Exact Bike Versus looks lit, bro. I've never played this one before. I have the OG one on my NES. But the only real benefit for me has been uh, the free NES games. Punch Out, Super Mario, Lost Levels. Those were dope, dope, dope. Last month, April was crazy with the free games. But, um,. Other than that, we're lacking so many features, bro. No messaging. No, we can't even, you know, it's so one capturing clips, like highlight clips um, in some games that we could do it in some games, can't do it in others. Um, a ch you know how many times I've complained about achievements. I'm beating a dead horse right now bro the achievement horse has been dead so long i'm still beating it still beating it and one day nintendo will revive the horse but we need achievements bro um on the switch nintendo achievements would be so so lit so this is what he said pertaining to nintendo switch online we recognize that the number of accounts that have subscribed to nintendo switch online it's increasing steadily, corresponding to the pace that the hardware install base is growing. Naturally, not everyone remains a member, and there are cases where users join during the holiday season and then canceled after three months. There are also new members who joined after Tetris 99 was released. Tetris 99 was lit too. In February, as an exclusive game for the Nintendo Switch Online members, and others who have remained members because of Tetris 99. To expand Nintendo Switch Online even further, we need to continue offering elements like this that highlight the distinctive value of Nintendo Switch Online. So we might get more um, games like um, um, Tetris 99, cool um, free games that would be exclusive to the online services. Just imagine, bro. Nintendo say Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate Alliance. Free, exclusive to online members, bro. Online would be crazy. Online would be crazy, but they do see that it, although it's growing, uh, they do s feel the need that they need to continue to keep the interest and keep the uh, retainment of um, Switch Online members. Um, which I'm, I'm for the most part, I'm cool with the online, but we do need to add more stuff. Also, he talks about how Nintendo needs to offer new ideas to attract new um, owners and that the switch hardware won't peak out because a lot of people might be like okay um, switch is selling good but um, are we gonna peak out is it gonna peak is uh, when our sales gonna slow down and this is what he says um, um, pertaining to the switch possibly slowing down in hardware sales the software lineup for Nintendo Switch at launch consists largely of Nintendo series titles, and the hardware install base grew because many cus customers purchased these kinds of games. First year, Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Zelda Breath of the Wild, straight lit. As the hardware moves through its second and third year after launch, more and more titles from a variety of other software publishers have become available. But I believe Nintendo also needs to offer new ideas to attract the cu consumers who haven't been able to appeal to, they haven't been able to appeal to yet. In order to convince these consumers 
who did not choose to get Nintendo Switch over these past two years to purchase the Nintendo Switch, I think we need to offer even newer kinds of gaming experiences. Enter the Nintendo Switch Mini and the Switch Pro. Let's go, bro. But um, it is rumored that Nintendo will be offering uh, new hardware, which I think won't leave current Switch owners behind. It'll probably run the same games, um, same core experience. But there was rumors that the um, <coughs> um, slightly modified um, Switch, the Switch Pro, we don't know. I, I don't think the power is going to be crazy um, above what we currently have. But the rumor was that Nintendo's trying to appeal to another customer base with that Switch model. So we'll see. This sort of falls in line with that theory. And he did say, we start off with a lot of great Nintendo games, but now uh, more developers are on board. The indie scene, crazy on the Switch. The best indie scene is on the Switch. Games like Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 11, in my opinion, was big to have on the Switch. And last news item, speaking of Mortal Kombat 11, uh, the, the game developers have confirmed on Twitter that a patch to the Nintendo Switch version of the game will be dropping in the near future soon to make sure the game stays on parity. This is what the, the tweet said, so that the game stays on parity with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions. Mortal Kombat... Um, 11 straight lit right now. It's my favorite fight on the switch. This is what I grew up on playing All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? We're gonna keep the clouds through the outro too. sound off in the comment section below. I want to know but before we go bro Click that subscribe button stay up to date all things Nintendo we out but, but, boy. <laughs>